Apa khabar Umaima? Alhamdulillah. Khabar baik. Khabar baik. Abdullah, awak apa khabar? Abdullah tak ada cikgu. Uh, he was here just now. Cikgu small doubt. Abdullah uh, tak ada or Abdullah bukan sini. <coughs> Abdullah tiada di sini. Tiada di sini. Yeah, remember when I said yesterday is either dia tiada rumah or dia tiada di rumah. Different sentence. So you can say dia tiada di sini or dia tak ada di sini. So I think I'm starting now. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you see the screen? Yes, I do. Okay. So um, today we uh, will be second last session for beginner. So I was thinking, um, so I would like to introduce to you some verbs, the common verbs in Malay with different conjugations. This is quite um, complex and complicated, but I'll try to make it easier. And then I try to relate to spoken Malay. Okay. So the first verb is Aja. Can you see the screen? Screen is Salamat the tongue. No, it's not. I already changed. What about now? Yeah, okay. So the first verb is aja. We have different um sorry. Give me a second. Can you see clearly? Should I make it bigger? Little, little bigger. Please. Okay. Hmm. I tried okay, to make it for full screen. Yeah, I tried to make it full screen. It's already full screen on me. Can you, can you see it? Yeah. It's full screen? You need to keep in keep it in uh, other mode. There is other mode called uh, see here here I can see uh, and the down there is seventy percent right. Down. Yeah, but but now I already put on the um, fourth screen. No 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 fourth one. You select fourth one. Yes, it is fourth fourth. Yes, I did it. It's already full screen on my lap. Oh. But it doesn't show that on your screen, right? Ah, yes. I don't know why. Maybe it's taking time. Let me do it again. Yeah, now okay, Chigo. Okay, better? Yes, better. Okay. So, we have this word, 
ajar and we have different conjugations we have belajar mempelajari mengajar mengajari dan mengajarka so belajar belajar mean to study or to learn something like saya sedang belajar sekarang i'm studying right now Yes. Mempelajari yes. the same meaning with belajar but you have I mean you learning something very deeply in a, like in depth study. Saya mempelajari science. It mean it, it both mean the same belajar dan mempelajari. But mempelajari is a very deep learning. Is it clear? Mengajar to teach someone about something. Mengajari the same thing to teach someone about something the same meaning and then mengajarka to teach something to someone you cannot say he teaches me science you have to put the object first and then the person beliau mengajarkan science the thing that you learn and then to someone mengajar or mengajari beliau mengajar saya must be someone and then the thing that you teach is it clear yes the difference between mengajar dan mengajarkan Mengajar, after the verb, you have to put someone that you teach and then the next one, um, something that you teach. Mengajarkan, the other way around. After the verb, you put the, the thing that you teach and then to whom you teach. Umayma? يعني زي عنا مفعولين مفعول أول مفعول ثاني مناجر مفعول أول للشخص مفعول ثاني للشيء اللي أنت بتعلمه مناجر كان المفعول بأول الشيء اللي أنت تعلميها ومفعول ثاني آه الشخص اللي أنت بتعلميه. Okay. Okay. But in spoken Malay, belaja, yes, we use the same belaja. We don't really use mempelajari. In daily um, life, mengajar, we use the same um, form. We don't use mengajari. And then we don't also use mengajarkan. So in spoken Malay, there, there is no difference between mengajar dan mengajarkan. You just use mengajar. It doesn't matter in spoken Malay. So the, there, there are only two words that you have to remember. Belajar dan mengajar. So belajar is to study or to learn something. And mengajar 
to teach something. There are only two words. Study and teach. Yes, to study or to learn and mengajar to teach. Any question? Faham, Cikgu. Okay. The next verb, buat. Buat mean to do. We have berbuat, membuat, membuatkan, membuat-buat, and the other one, memperbuat, and memperbuatkan. So, berbuat is like to do something, but the, the thing that you do must be abstract. It's not physical. Mereka berbuat baik. So, they do something good. Good is abstract. Mereka berbuat jahat. So, they do something bad. Yes? Mm -hmm. So, membuat the same meaning with berbuat, but we normally use with something, something that we can see. Dia membuat kerja rumah. So she does her homework. Kerja rumah, something you can see. Or membuat also can uh, means to make something, like to make a cake, to make. Dia membuat cake untuk saya. So, cake, something that you can see. Membuatkan, membuat, to do something for someone. But membuatkan, the other way around. To make someone something. So, the first object is the person, and then the second object is the thing. Cikgu, uh, here yes. saya, saya, dia membuatkan saya kok, cake. Sorry, cake, yes. Yeah, someone, something like that. Yes, so the first, the first object must be the person to make for someone something. So, dia membuatkan yeah. for me a cake. For me. But in, yes. But we don't have to put for because it's a direct object. Oh, okay. But here, membuat, the first uh, object is the thing and then the second object you have to put for untuk saya. Dia membuat cake. Because Without this phrase, dia membuat cake. She makes a cake. That's enough. That's um, an independent sentence. But when you say, dia membuatkan saya, but the sentence doesn't complete yet. So you have to put the second object. Dia membuatkan saya cake. But you don't have to worry. In spoken Malay, you just use buat. buat. You don't say berbuat. You don't say membuat. You don't say membuatkan. You just say buat. Uh, so like this one, mereka buat baik. That's enough in spoken Malay. Dia buat kerja rumah. That's also enough. Dia Buat cake untuk saya. Dia buatkan saya or buat saya cake. Oh, real time just buat. Yeah. In spoken Malay, we barely use this um this form. We normally use this one, membuat. But we don't say membuat. We just say buat. Buat. That's easy. 
Yes. So you don't have to worry about other conjugations. Say buat, we'll understand. So? Selamat datang, Abdullah. Selamat datang. Apa kabar? Are... Alhamdulillah. Uh. We are already on the second form of verb. Okay, okay, no, tak ada masalah. Okay. So, we move on. Oh, okay. And the next one is membuat-buat. Membuat-buat means to pretend, to make up something. Dia membuat-buat senyum. She, she, she's pretending to smile. Pretend. Pretend. Or make up. Dia membuat buat alasan. So she, she makes up an excuse. Alasan. It's either pretending or making up something. You don't have to worry as well. Without say membuat-buat, you just say buat-buat. Dia buat-buat senyum. He's faking his smile. He's pretending to smile. Dia buat-buat alasan. She makes up um, an excuse. Buat-buat apa tu ni? I mean to pretend. To pretend. Uh, to fake. To make up. To fake. Yeah, to fake. It's very um common uh, word in spoken Malay. We use this a lot. You what what? Just what what? Mm hmm. Like mm -hmm. when we say, oh, jangan buat buat tido. Jangan mm. buat buat tido. Don't don't fake your don't to pretend that you are sleeping. Something like that. that. Wrong. Uh, he's trying to make up. Yes, don't fake it. Don't pretend. Yeah. Yeah. It's very common um, word in what, spoken Malay. What means to do? Uh, what, to do. What, what, what means? What, what means? To do. To fake. fake. To do doing something. Fake. Yeah. To, to pretend fake. doing something. To make fake. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. But in spoken Malay, just say. Buat buat. Buat buat. Without membuat buat. Buat buat kerja. Yes. Buat buat kerja. Yeah. Very very good um, example. So buat buat kerja. He's pretending to work. To work. Okay. Memperbuat. The same meaning with membuat. This another version of membuat. Dia memperbuat cake. She makes a cake. But this form, we barely use in spoken Malay. You also rarely find this in writing. Okay. It's very formal um, of saying membuat. And another one is memperbuatkan. It's mean that you put a lot of effort in making something. So, memperbuat, to make something. Memperbuatkan, you put a lot of effort in making something. So, these two means the same. But the last one, it just have a sense of more effort, effort. in doing things. And also this form, you barely use in spoken Malay or informal as well. You barely um, find it in writing. Uh, so for this verb, um, just remember buat buat, which means to fake, and then buat, to do something. It's only two. Buat. And buat buat. So buat to do something. Buat buat to fake or to pretend. Memperbuat to make something. To make something. 
Yeah. Uh, you just you just say buat. You don't say berbuat. Just say buat. Memperbuat to make something. To make something. Yes. To make something. Yes. To make something. Memperbuatkan uh, to make something with effect. With effort. Effort. Yes. A lot of effort. A lot of effort. Awak memperbuatkan kerja. Yeah. But you don't have to worry about that form. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Sorry. You just um, remember in spoken Malay, we say buat to do something and buat buat to fake or to pretend doing things. What, how, how to say he works hard. He works, he works very hard. Uh, dia kerja keras. Dia kerja? Keras. So Can kerja is um to work. To work. Keras mean hard. Keras. Keras. K E R A S. R A S. Yes. Uh. Okay. We move on to the next verb. Laku. We have berlaku, melakukan, memperlakukan. Berlaku to happen, to occur. Kebakaran itu berlaku semalam. So the fire happened last night. Berlaku to happen. In spoken Malay, we use the same form, berlaku. When, uh, like, you want to ask someone, uh, when uh, the accident happened, so you say, bila, bila kebaka- uh, kemalangan itu berlaku. Berlaku, to happen. Just Melakukan to- is... Um, to make something happen. In what sense? To do something. So, melakukan to do something. Dia melakukan tugasannya. He did her assignment. So, to make something happen. In this sense, making her assignment happen. So, dia melakukan to do something. Memperlakukan. Uh, you don't have to worry about this one. It's very complicated. Um, maybe this one. Memperlakukan. We kind of use it in spoken Malay as well. Memperlakukan means to treat someone dia memperlakukan ibunya seperti orang gaji so he treats his mother as a maid memperlakukan to treat someone is it clear so in spoken malay we use berlaku to happen melakukan we use uh, the same form and then memperlakukan to mean treating someone is it clear any question No. And another form is from the word laku, we have kelakuan. Kelakuan means behavior. Okay. When we say someone to act or to behave in a particular way, you say berkelakuan. Dia berkelakuan buruk. He behave 
badly, which means he misbehave. So when you use this one, berkelakua, um, to show that um, a person is behaving in a particular way. Dia berkelakuan buruk. Dia berkelakuan baik. Dia berkelakuan jahat. It shows the behavior of the um, person who doing the action. So in spoken Malay, we use um, the full form, berkelakuan. We so for this, use the normal term, Sorry? What do you say, Mahesh? It is the general word in Malay, Berkelakuan. So pardon me, I can't hear you. Uh, we use it as a daily, daily word. Yeah, yeah. we kind of, we don't use it a lot, but you might hear it in spoken Malay as well. Mm -hmm. Berkelakuan. Maybe um, someone might say, dia berkelakuan aneh. Aneh means strange. So he's behaving um, very strange. Okay. No. So maybe uh, for this form, try to remember berkelakuan melakukan dan berlaku. That's it. Any question? Okay. The next verb. Kerja. Kerja mean to work. So bekerja is mean to work. Dia tidak bekerja kemarin. So he didn't work yesterday. Don't worry. You can use bekerja or just use kerja. It's okay. We can understand. So like, awak tak bekerja hari ni? You're not working today? Or maybe you can simply say, awak tak kerja hari ni? Without using ba. Bekerja or kerja. It's okay. The next one. Mengerjakan. Mengerjakan. The same meaning with melakukan. To do something. Um, but this, this too. We don't use a lot in spoken Malay. Try to remember the the third meaning, mengerjakan. Mengerjakan mean to kill someone or to finish off. Like um, when you get mad at someone, you feel like really angry, and then. You feel like, oh, you want to kill this person. Mm. So you can say, mengerjakan. I will mengerjakan dia. I'll kill him. Is it clear? Yeah, Chibu. Okay. Just remember the last, uh, the third meaning to finish off someone. Memperkerjakan to uh, employ someone. Dia memperkerjakan saya di cawangan baru. So he post me at a new branch. Because kerja means work. Memperkerjakan to make someone have work. 
So dia memperkerjakan saya. He makes me have work uh, at the new branch. So in other way to say memperkerjakan to employ. The assignment. Mm -hmm. He assigned, to appoint, yes, to appoint someone. Oh. He, he assigned some work to me. He yes. Assigned. Assign or employ, appoint, yes. To assign someone at a place. Dia memperkejan. Kan saya di cawangan baru. But don't worry, we don't use this a lot in spoken Malay. Just use bekerja and mengerjakan for this meaning to kill someone yeah. and from the word kerja we have this word pekerjaan which means job and kerjaya which means career So, ber pekerjaan mean to have a job. Pekerjaya to have a career. Because in um, some cases, when you see this word ber, it's mean to have. So, pekerjaan mean job. So, ber pekerjaan is mean to have a job. Kerjaya means career. So, bekerjaya means um, to have a career. Bekerjaya. So, dia tidak berperkerjaan. So, he or he doesn't have a job. Dia wanita bekerjaya. She is a woman with a career. That's mean she's a career woman. She is a woman who has a career. She doesn't have a job. We don't use this um, a lot, but we kind of use this in spoken Malay as well. Bukerjaya. How about our kerja ada? Mm -hmm. About uh, uh, our kerja ada. We don't have job. Yeah, you just you just simply say our ada kerja or our tak ada kerja. Yeah, we don't use this in spoken Malay. You might find it in formal writing, but you don't. Um, normally use it in daily life. Yeah. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. The next verb is jadi. Menjadi is meant to become. So, dia menjadi seorang penyanyi. She become a singer. Or uh, menjadi also could mean succeed. The plan, succeed. Or succeed in life. Rancangan mereka menjadi. Jadi apa? Jadi... Jadi mean to become, to, to be, be as someone or something. So, menjadi, to become. Uh, we use this a lot in spoken Malay, but we just say, jadi. Awak nak jadi apa? Uh, bila besar. So, what do you want to be? What do you want to become when you grow up? We use jadi to become. You might heard 
You might hear this a lot in spoken Malay. Jadi. jadi. Awak jadi. nak jadi apa? Awak nak jadi apa? Jadi apa? What do you want to become? become? What do you want to be? Who you gonna be? Jadi. Menjadi. How to use menjadi? You don't use menjadi. You just oh. use jadi. jadi. We only use menjadi when we say about a plan or wishes. Mm -hmm. So like rancangan mereka menjadi. So um, the plan worked or succeed. We use menjadi. We use this a lot in spoken Malay. Menjadi for plan. Or maybe, uh, like, um, you made a plan with your friends, maybe to go to a cinema, and you're going to ask them, um, are we going or not? Hmm. Jadi ke tak? You can say, jadi ke tak? So, are we going? Jadi ke? Is it clear? We yeah. use this a lot in spoken Malay. Jadi ke? Are we stick uh, with our plan? Jadi ke? Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. So you use jadi to become or jadi for a plan. Another one is menjadi jadi or berjadi jadi. To become more. Luka, luka saya, my wound, menjadi jadi, becomes worse. We use this in spoken Malay. A lot, menjadi jadi. Um, to say something going um, bad or more or worse. You, you can say, perangai dia menjadi jadi. Perangai dia menjadi jadi. I mean, his behavior is getting worse. Menjadi jadi. Is it clear? Okay. We don't use berjadi jadi. We normally use menjadi jadi. Like in spoken Malay, we would say um, ah dia ni menjadi jadi pula. You can say, ah, oh, this, oh, this guy, ah, oh, this boy is getting worse. He's getting bad. Jadi, jadi. We have menjadikan. Membuat. The same meaning with membuat. To cause something to become. Dear. Menjadikan suasana panik. Means to cause something. To cause something to happen or to become. So dia menjadikan suasana panik. She caused a panic. Or dia menjadikan saya panik. She caused me or makes me become panicked. Menjadikan also means 
um, mempekerjakan to appoint or to assign someone to employ someone same meaning mempekerjakan and the another meaning is to create like Tuhan God menjadikan created this world all the meaning so in spoken Malay don't worry we don't use this a lot we use menjadi jadi and then you use jadi that's it is it clear yeah yeah it's clear and the next one is kata kata means word so berkata mean um, to say something dia berkata he said aku pencuri i'm a thief berkata-kata to keep on saying that means to speak or to talk berkata-kata speaking Don't worry, um, we don't use this too in spoken Malay. You don't have to worry about that. We use this a lot in spoken Malay. Mengata. Mengata means to say something bad about someone or to backbite or to bad mouth. Dia or mereka mengata saya there backbiting me so kata means word but mengata means to say something bad to say bad things about someone we use this a lot in spoken malay mengata like uh you want to say I don't like him uh, or I don't like her. He always um, bad mouth me. So, saya tak suka dia. Dia selalu mengata saya. Mengata. There's another form. Mengatai. But don't worry. We don't use it a lot. We just use mengata. And mengatakan. The same meaning with um, berkata, to say something. But after you say mengataka, you have to use this word, bahawa. So he, he says that, bahawa means that. So he says that I am a thief. So berkata, you don't have to use the word bahawa. Mengatakan, you have to use this word, bahawa. But don't worry, again, you only find this in formal writing. We don't use a lot in spoken Malay. We only use this word, mengata, to backbite. Is it clear? Yeah, it's clear. Uh, 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 yes, it's clear. Yes, it's clear. Always now, these days, we can see that of uh, Muhyiddin, uh, that of Smail Sabri, they talk, mm -hmm. same, they said, that of Smail Sabri, uh, Berkata, they yes. use the same, this is formal, formal. Yes, very formal. But, uh, but in uh, in uh, informal, at uh, speaking Malay, you can say just kata. No, no need to say berkata. No. We don't or say we don't this at all. We have another uh -huh. one. Check which up. is check up. Check up. Uh, yes. Okay. 
Okay. After this, we come back. <laughs> okay. So we don't say berkata. It's a very formal way to say to say. Mm -hmm. The same thing okay. as mengatakan. Just hmm. remember this one. Mengatakan. Okay. Uh, uh, soalan lain. Uh, mengata, mengatai, 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 mengatai. It also same meaning to yes. say about something. Okay. Mengata, yes, but we mm. don't use in um, spoken Malay. We just use mengata. Also, if I compare this word mengatai with the word mencintai, but Say mm -hmm. tai it's high level from love or mention tai. No, it's the same the same word as chinta. Chinta. To love someone. Okay. Uh, yeah. but it's more formal, huh? No, more formal. Yes. Okay. Okay. And yeah, I forget. We can say kata in spoken Malay. Like mm -hmm. um Maybe someone asks you, did he say? What did he say? Maybe we can say, oh, apa dia, apa dia kata? Oh. Or apa dia cakap? We normally use cakap, but at the same time, you can use kata. Dia kata, apa dia kata? Or apa dia cakap? So what he say? Okay. Yes. So the next one is cakap. It's mean to speak or to talk. Bercakap is a formal way to say ber, uh, cakap to talk. Saya bercakap dengan Ahmad. I talk to Ahmad. Oh, saya bercakap dalam bahasa Melayu. I speak in Malay. So, in spoken Malay, we just say cakap. We don't say bercakap. Saya cakap dengan Ahmad. Saya cakap dalam bahasa Melayu. Okay. And bercakap, cakap. Itu dalam, dalam apa? Sorry. Dalam. Uh, in. In. Dalam, in, dengan, with. So I talk with Ahmad or I talk in Malay. Okay. Bercakap cakap mean to keep talking or another meaning is to converse or to chit chat. Mereka bercakap cakap sambil ketawa. So they having conversation and giggling. Bercakap-cakap. Kami sedang bercakap-cakap tentang ujian, ujian kelmarin. So we having conversation about um, yesterday's test. So I can say saya bercakap-cakap dalam interview hari ini. Boleh? Mm -hmm. Boleh, macam ni, boleh. But normally, bercakap-cakap, um, we refer to um, casual conversation. Daily uh, conversation. Not like a formal, like interview. Um, like a meeting. Say uh, bercakap. Uh -huh. Small talk. You know, very casual. Like, um, we're going to say, oh, today, um, I called my friend and I talked to him. I'm having conversation with him. You can say, oh, hari ni, saya ada telefon, kawan saya. Saya cakap-cakap. Cakap-cakap sikit dengan dia. So, like, I'm having a chit chat, casual conversation. How about meeting, meeting? 
um meeting meeting How is also converted to formal very formal say dalam meeting meeting can you give me um example how do i say uh if i am in meeting currently i am meeting with few persons in the office meeting someone call me uh sorry i am in meeting uh okay maybe we can use bincang which mean to discuss ah uh, we are in discussion sorry we are in discussion. yes discussion bincang can say berbincang to have a discussion okay from this word we have cakap besar so cakap you know that is um like talking besar means big so in that meaning bragging or boast to talk in a proud way to brag or to boast about yourself we use a lot a lot in spoken malay we don't say bercakap besar we just say cakap besar in spoken malay ah uh, dia cakap besar it mean he brag um about himself dia asyik bercakap besar tentang kecantikannya she kept boasting about her beauty bercakap besar or just use cakap besar we use a lot in spoken malay cakap besar cakap besar yes or you can say um maybe um your friend um is talking a lot about himself in a proud way like bragging about himself and you want us um say to him oh don't do that jangan cakap besar jangan cakap Gila. besar tidak jangan cakap besar ya yeah. oh maybe say cakap besarlah oh you just you just bragging stop it already cakap besar uh, meaning of besar big to speak big besar big big uh cukup besar okay small okay. small small uh, kecil kecil but we didn't have cakap kecil we to have hmm. cakap besar okay yes. clear remember this cakap besar all right the next one beritahu beritahu mean to tell or to inform to notify so we have memberitahu memberitahukan so only two forms so memberitahu uh, of course we have two objects memberitahu the first object must be the person and then the second object is the thing so you tell someone about something but memberitahukan the first object is something and the second object is someone so to whom you tell something so like this dia memberitahu saya hal ini so he told me about this matter but this one dia memberitahukan hal ini so he told me about this matter to me kepada saya
Is it clear? But don't worry. In daily life, spoken Malay, just use beritahu. Dia beritahu. Dia beritahu me. Yeah, dia beritahu saya. Yeah, you don't have to say memberitahu or memberitahukan. It doesn't have any um, difference in spoken Malay. Just use beritahu. Or oh, there is another word we use bagi tahu. Bagi, bagi beritahu or bagi tahu. But in spoken Malay, you might say bagi tahu. Bagi tahu. We just say bagi tahu. We don't say bagi tahu. We say bagi tahu. You use this a lot in spoken Malay. Maybe someone say um, to you, bagi tahu saya. Tell me. Bagi tahu saya. Tell me. Bagi tahu dia. Bagi tahu dia. Tell her. Something like that. Maybe you can say, cakap lah. Say something. Cakap lah. Bagi tahu saya. Tell me. Cakap lah. Bagi tahu saya. Something like that. Is it clear? Hopefully. Yeah, faham, faham. And another word, dengar. Dengar means to hear. Yes. Sorry. We have mendengar, mendengarkan, memperdengarkan. So mendengar is like to hear something. Saya mendengar bayi itu menangis. I heard the baby crying. But don't worry. Um, we just use dengar in spoken Malay. You don't have to say mendengar or mendengarkan. Dia sedang mendengarkan lagu. Or in spoken Malay, just use dengar. Dia dengar lagu. Hear or listen doesn't have any difference in Malay. Just use dengar. We have another word, memperdengarkan. It's like um, when you're performing um, a music or um, a song or you're reciting a poem or something like that. So you use memperdengarkan. So literally means memperdengarkan you um you make someone you make someone listen to you memperdengarkan so another way is um to perform like, like this dia memperdengarkan sebuah syair so she sings a poem so she make um, audience listen to his poem. But don't worry, we don't use this a lot in spoken Malay. Just try to remember this only word, dengar, which means to hear or to listen. Is it clear? Okay. We have um, four more to go. Lihat to see. Melihat to see something. Kami melihat dia di sana. We saw her there. Melihati to look at something. So melihat the normal see something 
but melihati to look at something so you look at something um how do i say this very um seriously dia sedang melihati gambar-gambar lama so she's looking at the old pictures look someone but don't worry look someone is coming on. you look at something or someone as a matter they mean the same in spoken malay don't worry we just use lihat so kami lihat dia di sana dia sedang lihat gambar-gambar lama okay but actually we don't actually say this lihat we um rather say this word tengok tengok another word for lihat so we use this tengok more in spoken malay tengok so you don't use lihat tengok so kami tengok dia dia sedang tengok gambar-gambar lama yes yes and another form is melihat lihat to have a look or to look around so saya tidak mahu berbelanja cuma melihat lihat sahaja so i don't want to do shopping i'm just looking around we kind of use this a lot as well in spoken malay but we just say um lihat 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 saja lihat lihat saja like um when you go to um shopping mall you don't want to buy anything you just do uh window shopping you can say lihat 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 just lihat. look around lihat lihat saja yeah i don't want to buy anything saya tak nak beli apa-apa saya lihat lihat je just um looking around Okay, is it clear? Yes, it is. Okay. I don't want to. I want to teach you this. It's um quite complicated. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's move on. We have the word bury and ambil beri mean to give ambil to take so we have memberi dan memberikan memberi to give someone something memberikan to give something to someone that's only the difference so the first object someone the second object is something then for this one the first object is something and the second object is someone but again don't worry just use beri in spoken malay beri dia beri saya buku or dia beri buku kepada saya I would rather say in spoken Malay, we don't um, actually use beri, we use bagi. Do you remember about beritahu and bagi tahu? The same thing. So we um, normally don't use beritahu, we use bagi tahu. The same thing. The same word, right? Beri. So we don't say memberi 
Or beri, we just say bagi. bagi ni dia bagi saya buku. Dia bagi buku kepada saya. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. The same thing with ambil. To take. Mengambil. Mengambilkan. Mengambil. To ambil something for someone or from someone. Mengambilkan. To take for someone something. So dia mengambilkan buku untuk saya. Dia mengambilkan saya buku itu. And again, don't worry. In spoken Malay, we just say ambil. Dia ambil buku itu untuk saya. Dia ambil saya, dia ambilkan saya buku itu. Same. Any question? Can we say sila ambil? Yes, I mean please take. Sila ambil. Sila ambil. Yes, please take. Okay. Uh, uh, for uh, lihat, tengo, mm -hmm. we can say uh, tuntun. Uh, tuntun is a uh -huh. very formal way to say uh -huh. to watch. You don't say tonton to see. Tonton is like for watching TV. Yeah, I, want, I I want to say I want to ask if I said if I want to say I'm watching TV or watch, not see or look. Yeah, yeah. Because in so, English, I uh, have see, look, watch. Ah, yes. Other many verse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same thing with uh, Malay. We say tonton in an informal, but in spoken Malay, we just use. Tengo. So uh, tengo also, uh, tengo TV. Yes. Tengo. Okay. You don't say uh, what about uh, what about a viewer? A viewers. Same. I'm in theater and uh, have uh, viewers. Viewers. Ah. Uh, what do you mean? Ah, uh, مشاهدين أو أو متفرجين. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, in that case. أو جمهور. Ah, جمهور. Penonton. 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 Oh, sorry. Lihat, lihat. So or, the uh, word is tonton, right? Yes. Um, watch. So penonton is the person who do the um watching. Viewer. Uh -huh. The viewer. Yes. Mm. Ah, okay. Penonton. Also for uh, bagi, mm -hmm. we can say, can we say angkat? Angkat? Uh -huh. Angkat means uh -huh. um, to carry. Oh, to angkat. carry. To carry something. Oh, not to give or to take. Oh, okay, okay. No. Angkat. Mm -hmm. To carry. Mm. Tolong, angkat saya. Please um, carry me. Mm. Angkat. Okay. okay. So, next one. We have beli. Beli means to buy. We have membeli and membelikan. So, the same rule again. Membeli is to buy something for someone. Membelikan is to buy for someone something. And again, same rule again. We just use beli. In spoken Malay. Dia beli bag, bag untuk saya. 
dia beli saya back same no difference and it's another word membeli belah so this word beli and belah membeli belah mean shopping shopping yeah shopping oh. sebab so, in spoken malay we just use beli belah awak nak pergi beli belah awak nak pergi shopping jom pergi beli belah jom pergi beli belah let's go, uh, let's go for shopping Something like that. Clear? It's another word. Jual mean to sell. The same rule. Menjual, menjualkan. Menjual, to sell something for someone. And menjualkan, to sell for someone something. And we just use jual, spoken Malay. Jual. Awak jual apa? What you're selling. Awak jual apa? What are you selling? Saya jual di. Jual apa? <laughs> Mahesh, awak jual apa? Saya jual di telefon. Jual di di telefon. No, you just say saya jual telefon. I sell clothes. Saya jual telefon to sell. Okay. If I want to say, if I want to ask someone. Uh, how much you sell your car? Berapa awak jual kereta awak? Berapa awak nak jual? Oh no, he already sell sold. Hmm? Ah, oh, he already uh, already sell. Berapa again? Awak jual mm -hmm. kereta awak? Okay. How much um did you sell for your car? Ah. Uh. And the last one, tido. Tido mean to sleep. So there's no conjugation. Just use tido to sleep. Saya tidak dapat tido. I can't sleep. Dia tido di tilam empo. Is sleeping. On the soft mattress. Dapat, dapat. Oh, dapat mean um, to be able to. Mean can. I not can sleep. So I cannot sleep. I don't want to teach you this. You just read um, the um, explanation. Try to not use this in your <laughs> daily um, conversation. It's mean this one to sleep with someone. Many duty. And this one, menidurkan, is to put someone to sleep. Ibu menidurkan Laila. Mother is putting Laila to bed or to sleep. Menidurkan. To make someone um, sleep or to help someone to sleep. Menidurkan. Any question? Uh, 
Excuse me, sir, uh, Stas Haysam, uh, Junaid. Uh, I'm sorry to say to ask much on this uh, so Alan. Okay. The mine, 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 or better mine, mine. If I say bad meaning as uh, in the any mini Uh Yeah. We say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This word, mine. Mine means. To play. To play. Yes, to play. But um, in some cases, you could understand from the context um, mm. when someone maybe asks you, Awak pernah main dengan dia? Have you um, ever played with her? That means, oh. have you slept with her? Oh. But this one, mm -hmm. yeah. it could mean to play mm -hmm. and to play something, mm -hmm. uh, to sleep with someone. But, okay, mine. but how can we co how can we recognize if we want to say mine? Same, I don't want to meaning bad. I want to meaning play. It's um your context. It depends uh, on your sentence. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Like we say, awak main apa? What are you playing now? Awak main apa? Awak tengah main apa? What are you playing now? So this normal playing. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you could understand from the context. Yeah. Okay. So we've come to the end of this lesson. Any question? Uh, the... Mahesh? Uh, what is reading? Sorry? Uh, what is... I am reading book. I am reading book. book uh, reading. 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 Bacha. Bacha to read. Saya buku baca. Saya baca buku. Saya baca buku. Baca buku. To read a book. I am reading book. Saya buku. Saya baca buku. buku. Baca buku. I am reading book. Yes. Baca buku. Uh, Any other words you would like to know? Yeah. Uh, I am shouting. Shouting. Shouting? Yeah. Shouting. Can you give me an example? Uh, Sentence, maybe? Shouting or talking loud? Um, With high voice. We can say Jerry. Yeah. Jerry. Jerry means? So you can say, Jangan Jerry. Or Jangan Menjerry. So Jangan. Don't menjerit. Don't shout. Yes. We have this um, film in Malaysia. It's called KL Menjerit. Which, which, is, which means um, KL Kuala Lumpur is shouting. Or shout. Menjerit. Crying. Crying. You mean crying? Crying, yeah. Right? Yeah. You can yeah. say the the root word is tangis, but we say yeah. menangis. Yeah, menangis. 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 Okay. But also in spoken Malay, we could say jerit as well. Jerit. So jerit can mean and to shout or to cry. Or to cry. Mm -hmm. Yes. But just use menangis. It's better. Menangis. Kenapa awak menangis? Why are you crying? 
Kenapa awak menangis? Why are you crying? Any more? To run, run, running. Run. Lari. Lari. Jangan lari. Don't run. Jangan lari daripada saya. Or don't run from me. Lari. Okay. That's all. Okay. Um, terima kasih Mahesh, Abdullah dan Umaima. Uh, Insya Allah esok terima kasih. adalah um, sesi terakhir untuk um, Pemula Bahasa Melayu. So tomorrow mm -hmm. will be the last session for the beginner. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there tomorrow, the same time. Hopefully. Okay. Okay. Terima kasih. Jumpa lagi. Selamat malam. Selamat malam. Selamat malam. Waalaikumsalam.